welcome to our next reading. You see four piles in front of you with different feathers. Um, please choose your feathers, guys. And um, this reading is all about what is the current situation teaching you, okay? So we're gonna look into the cards. What is it that you need to learn in this current situation as it is of right now? And yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I hope you like this reading. And I'm saying, I see you at the piles. Please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I see you at the piles. What is the current situation teaching you? Bye. Hello, Pawan. So let's see all your cards. You chose this beautiful feather. Let's let's put it here. Hope you can see it. So what do we have? We have, oh wow, Unleash Your Creativity, number 39. Beautiful. We have Breaking Bad Habits, Self-Acceptance, Excellent Mental Health, and Letting Go of Vices. We have Humility. Flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. Can you see that if I'm putting it here? We, oh wow, we have the Magician. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're not manifesting. You have the ability to unleash your creativity and to manifest. But for some kind of reason you're not doing this. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, you don't feel ready. You don't feel ready. You don't feel confident enough to manifest. It's like you're waiting on something. Oh, we have the awakening. What is this? The hangman. Yeah, a temporary pause, pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness. Charitable actions. Look at this. Embrace your own uniqueness. I mean, that's it. Unleash your creativity. There's something what you're not seeing here with this awakening. This is like getting a whole new perspective. Where can I put this? Yeah, I think you see that. Let me see if I can put this here. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot better. No, I can. <laughs> yes. Balance. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. And protection. Wow. Love that. I hope you can see everything. Let's go here a little bit to the side. Okay, so there you go your current situation you know the universe um put a pause in maybe into your creativity maybe right now you have a blockage um you have a creative block you cannot um manifest um your creativity you cannot do anything you know um you don't think you're beautiful you don't see you know, it's like all about self-acceptance. It's about how you see yourself. It's basically um, a shift of mindset that has to happen, an awakening inside of yourself um, where you are on the crossroads here. Yeah, and the universe is providing you right now with the answer, with the key of which road you need to go. Yeah, and how... You see yourself because I think here you came or you are at a decision making and you're not making this decision. It's like we have the four of cups and the two of swords, which are both cards of contemplation of um, tuning into your um, subconsciousness, 
tuning into your knowledge, weighing the pros and cons, you know, um, trying to listen to your inner voice, trying to see basically what you do, what you should do. Yeah. So there's a break here. We have both cards of a temporary pause. We have breaking bad habits. We have, um, you know, flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. It's basically, maybe you also saw, um, you know, like people doing the same thing as you and um, maybe you wanted, you know, to open up your business and you looked at the market and you saw there are other people doing this and then you thought, oh my gosh, you know, I can't do this because it's already done by so many different people. So I would not be successful. So basically you're delaying your decision to unleash your creativity to get started because you're trying to find the answer on how to do it on if you should do it or not. Yeah. And these weighing options, you know, it's about right now a time of weighing options of um, getting your ideas in balance um, and also the universe protecting you. We have this tree twice here. We have the tree here. You know, you're hanging on this tree and the tree is here and it says protection. So whatever you are doing, the whatever endeavor that it is, you see that she is hanging on this tree and not doing anything about it instead of um, doing something. So whatever this tree is that you want to unleash, you know, whatever the creative project this tree is, it's something that you bring into life, this tree. This could mean many different things for many different people. But uh, right now you are on a break. You have not made the decision to continue and you also have not the decision to make it, to give it up. It's basically you're contemplating, you're thinking, what should I do? You're getting your thoughts into balance. Um, you don't know which way to take. There are two options, either moving on with your, whatever this decision is, moving on or giving up, you know, and it's about stability. It's stable, you know, for a long time, this is stable and it's not moving anywhere. It could also be that you are in a relationship and it's not moving and you have to make a decision and you are hanging on this tree. So basically the tree is yours. This is the tree and whatever decision you make, you are protected. I feel this message I needed to give you. So this means whatever decision you're making, yeah, if the tree symbolizes a relationship and you know, the universe is saying, well, unleash your creativity, manifest, be the magician, you know, do something different. See how beautiful you are and how you can bloom. Yeah, whatever your decision you need to face, the universe is saying, unleash your creativity, make your decision. Um, but whatever path you're taking, it's yours to take and you will bloom regardless. You are protected regardless. That means whatever decision you're making, um, you know, it's all about self-acceptance. That also means if you give up, you know, if this is a project and you give up and you start something else, the universe is saying it's fine. Yeah, it's all about um, letting go of vices and self-acceptance. You can bloom regardless. Yeah, regardless of the decision that you're making, you will bloom. And that's what the universe wants to teach you that um, you're right now, you're not seeing your beauty and you're not seeing yourself as confident enough to make this decision. But whatever decision is, it is that you're making. The universe is saying you are the magician, you know, you can manifest it. You are protected. Yeah, there will always be balance, no matter what you choose. The angels are here to protect you, no matter what side of the coin you're choosing, no matter what road you are choosing to take. It's fine because you are protected. And that's what the situation right now wants to teach you. They want to that you awaken to the fact that you are protected that it doesn't matter. It's not important what decision you make, but it's important that you move on. It's important that you get out of this contemplation mode, of this mode of boredom, of this mode of, mm, you know, delaying, delaying the decision of this mode of, mm, you know, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. I'm just hanging here on this tree. You know, I just don't know what to do. And the universe is saying, well, it does not matter what you do. Just go ahead, you know, do something. 
you are beautiful, you can bloom whatever. Yeah, and let's see the blue jay. Oh wow, the blue jay is all about uh, wish fulfillment. It says the time is right to access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. Look how the, you know, I did not choose this. This was chosen by the universe. Look the synchronicities. Bloom regardless. Yeah, it's you have the control over your life. Do so with humility and control. You can master your abilities. You can move forward. Um, you can manifest your wishes. Your wish fulfillment is coming. But you need to believe in yourself. You need to see that if you unleash yourself, if you unleash your creative blood, you know, and you awaken to the fact that it does not matter which path you choose. The, the thing is, you need to move on. Whatever you're choosing, it's not good for you to hang in there and to wait for someone else making the decision. Yeah, It's about for you making this decision and the situation should um, teach you that it does not matter what you choose. Each path will be balanced out by the angels. Each path is protected. Okay, But you have to believe in yourself. You have to see how beautiful you can bloom. Okay, pile one. Very gorgeous reading. I hope you like this reading and if you do, please subscribe to my channel, okay? And I'm saying bye. Hello, Patu. You chose this beautiful blue feather. We're going to read this at the end. Just put it here. So let's see, what is the situation right now trying to teach you guys? So we're going to look at the cards. Oh, wow. We have home. Beautiful card. Wow, I love this card. Let's put it here. And look at this. Isn't the feather exactly like her dress? Like, how, how, how is this? Look at those coincidences. I mean, I know those are not coincidences, but wow. This is amazing. This is just amazing. We have little luxuries, generate luxurious experience and surroundings. Interesting. And idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. Wow, that reminds me of Dorothy. <clears throat> Trying to find home. Finding home. Yeah, Dorothy on her journey. I mean, Dorothy is on her journey to find her home again, right? Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. Give yourself the luxury to relax at home. To see what your home is, what home means for you. That's so interesting. That's what I'm getting in. So let's see what else. <clears throat> let's see at the tarot cards. We have the Six of Swords. Wow, we have the Moon. Beautiful. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where home is. Yeah. We have the tower. Wow. And we have the empress. Wow. That's a luxury, right? The empress is the growth and the luxury. And look at this. She even looks like she is um, relaxing on emerald grass, right? She is just an emerald land. If we see that here, if we look at this Divine Feminine. Wow, this is exactly these two cards together in the Empress, you know. Generate lectural experience and take time to lie on the emerald grass. Wow, again, we have the High Priestess. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. And we see that, you know, staying at home and relaxing. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. That's absolutely amazing because it, it exactly says these things, you know. We have spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. That's beautiful. It's about spirituality and finding your home seeing who you are, finding the home in yourself. It's not the time for action and we have the power. Wow, I love this. That's like the tower, you know, this is exactly, look at this. 
<laughs> you have immense power, part two. You have immense power and you don't realize it. You have immense power in yourself because you are the empress. You have to find this power inside of yourself, okay? So what is going on right now in your life is that there is a situation where you are not moving. You could be life path 35 or life path 8, you know. But I'm seeing here a situation, again, like in pile 1, where there is a break. But other here than you moving forward and you moving again and you... Um, you know, making a decision here, the universe wants that you take a break, that you stay at home, that you are quiet, you're quietening your mind, yeah, and that you look inside of yourself. You need to find the home in yourself. We have two cards of the divine feminine. So you are a divine feminine, you know, you are someone that has immense power, your spiritual gifts. With the moon card, you are highly spiritual so it's about your spiritual growth so you could be a psychic a tarot card reader you know you are someone um like me yeah who has a lot of spiritual abundance but maybe you're not seeing your power yeah maybe you're not seeing your power maybe you're still lost at sea yeah maybe you're still lost you're not seeing that you are the high priestess um that you have immense power from the talking to the universe you know you have immense power um, that lies inside of yourself the tower moment is the realization and um, you know the six of swords it's like you moved away from a situation you ended something um, there's maybe a breakup maybe something that ended for you maybe a job ended because we have idle hours maybe you are at home maybe you're working from home and you had to work from home or um, you know and for you it's a luxury to take time out yeah maybe you are someone that is very busy in your job and for you to stay at home and not working maybe you even got sick you know maybe you the universe brought you um, a sickness into your life in order for you to stay at home in order for you to relax at home in order to, for you to have this luxury of um, being at home with yourself. This is all about see being with yourself and seeing the abundance that you have inside. Seeing that you are this powerful, that you have a lot of power in your in yourself, in your connection to the universe. You know, you are the high priestess, you are the divine feminine. Um, this is a lot about recognizing your own power, recognizing your own power as a spiritual person yeah so this break that came into your life whatever you moved away from because you moved away from something and you don't know where you're going with this moon card it's basically you don't know where home is you're basically a little bit lost um it's about realizing your power it's about this in this break you will see that there is abundance no matter if you're just lying on the emerald grass if you're just sitting there and, um, you know, doing nothing, or relaxing, taking a break, you will see that it, you always have abundance. I'm also seeing here some kind of fear that you won't grow anymore once you, um, you stay at home. Yeah? Maybe there's a situation where you had to give up work and you, you are, right now you are at home and you're fearing that um, you cannot have growth anymore, you know. But you have to see that you are the empress. You embody all the power inside of you. Yeah? You are a spiritual being and the universe put a stop into whatever this was in order for you to grow, in order for you to grow spiritually. That's basically the gift. To see that you're more powerful than you ever think you are. So let's read this beautiful card. It says, period, wow, let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It is time to embrace who you really are. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's also that, um, you know, others put you on the spot and you had to give up something. And the universe is saying, wow, um, it is time to embrace who you really are. Um, others do not have an idea, you know, maybe with the tower and the empress, um, you know, maybe 
your boss came and you know told you no you cannot work here anymore you know and left you had to leave work or you know this um someone else ended something with you this could be in the love department in the career department you know someone else came maybe and had an opinion on your work or on your gift or on your um, how you are in a relationship you know someone else ended something with you and maybe you're also waiting you know because you get a letter here i feel here that you get a letter and someone ended something with you and now you're sitting there and you're taking a time out from whatever this was and you're thinking oh my gosh you know i have a lot of fears i'm not that powerful how should i do it alone how should i work from home how should i do it alone yeah but the universe says there is abundance. You don't need to worry. You have to look inside of yourself. You have to see how powerful you are. Yeah. There's no problem when someone else destroys the tower you're in. Because you are the empress. You can lay on the emerald grass. You can lay on the green grass. Look how green this card is. Yeah. Your heart is open and you will grow no matter what the empress is growth no matter what you need to see how powerful you are yeah and that's why this situation came into your life guys okay wow beautiful so that's all what i'm having guys i love that take care and i'm saying bye so hello part three so let's see you chose this beautiful feather we're gonna read it at the end so what is this situation teaching you so let's look at your cards first. We have family and tribe. Okay. I'm a 20. Maybe that's important for you. So let's see the other cards. We have tree of life. Wow. True wisdom and making good choices in life. Then we have transformation or transform. Emerge with beauty. And grace from your cocoon. Can you see that? Yes, beautiful. Let's look at your oracle cards. Oh wow, we have the um, tarot cards, the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be a Capricorn, because Queen of Pentacles is Capricornian energy. Or you could be someone else. Wow, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, that's amazing. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow and the seven of pentacles wow that's all about pentacles guys that's about work career balance job living your best life wow and the ten of pentacles also says family card you know this is also the tribe and the family card so there's something here about uh, creating a family yeah so it could be that you and your partner both are trying to create that family and, um, you know, the universe is saying you have to wait for a little more while. It's not happening um, at once. You have to be patient. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Let's see what else it is saying. Okay. We have the eight of, what is this? Eight of swords. The illusion of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that make you feel helpless. See, what was I saying? Emerge with beauty and grace from your cocoon so you're not confident there's something here where you're not opening the door you're not opening the door to success because you're not confident guys and this is about creating a family with your partner i'm seeing this very like creating the family tree um birthing a new life into being this is what I'm seeing. This could be about a creative project. This is about you and your partner starting a company. This is about you and your partner starting um, ha having a family. We have loved one in heavens are helping you. Thank you loved ones in heaven for drawing close at this time. So your ancestors are with you. And we also have freedom. flying free so there's a situation here where um you know for a long time you're trying and it's not working out 
And you know what I'm seeing? Um, it's about, we have here the Earth card, you know? So there is something bigger here than the Earth. You know, when we see this, doesn't it look like um, as if you were an ancestor looking from another dimension into the earth. And then we have ancestors, loved ones in heaven, are looking upon you. So whatever you're trying to do, the situation requires patience, okay? Whatever you're trying to birth, whatever you're trying to create, it has something to do with family and tribe. And, um, you know, if you are a couple trying to get pregnant, it's about, you know, this, tr this constantly trying um, puts you into a position of, you know, you close yourself off. It's like the only thing that matters in your mind, this is a mindset, you know, you know, and you guys know that. I mean, we always hear this, you know, we always hear when a couple tries to get pregnant and you're trying this for a long time. I mean, if the situation applies to you and what we always hear is you know when you don't think about it anymore that's when it happens and i just looked at the clock and so four minutes and 44 seconds so maybe you see a lot of fours and four is also the um you know the putting yourself into a box and because it's not happening it's you're very focused on that instead of flying free so whatever it is, you're mentally entrapping yourself in reaching this goal, this end goal. Yeah. Here you see this, you're patiently waiting and you're looking at the tree to grow, but you're very focused on that. And by focusing that, it's like you're mentally entrapping yourself. So what I'm seeing here, what is the current situation teaching you, you know, it's teaching you that you need to transform how you see this whole thing. This is a transformation of a mindset, guys. Um, there are loved ones in heaven that look upon you, that are with you. And I'm also seeing that the soul that wants to reincarnate or that wants to incarnate is ready to come. But it's only coming if you emerge with beauty and grace from your cocoon. It's like basically both of you guys, because I see here a couple, yeah? I see here two people. This is not just about one person. The two of you are equally in that. It's not that you can blame the other party, you know? It's like both of you are in that and both of you need to let go. It's about, you know, focus, not being too focused on that, but seeing it from a bigger perspective. It's about zooming out and just having fun, you know? It's about enjoying life. It's about flying free. It's about freedom, you know, and you guys doing what you guys want and not only focusing on um, this one thing. Because if you focus, you know, look at this. Both of them are focused on this one thing. Both of them, the girl and the boy, both of you are in this together. Both of you are very focused. But, you know, it makes you also not free. And by being not free, the soul that wants to come in to your body in order to be birthed in, onto the earth, um, you know, it's it's too cubic. How, how can I say that? I, I hope you understand me. So, you know, if you're trying to birth something in the world and it, it doesn't have to be a baby, you know, I mean, it makes sense seeing all these cards, but, you know, I know that this applies only to a few of you watching me, to the majority of you, you probably are not together with your person. But whatever you're trying to create with your person, both of you are in that. You know, we have judgment, number 20. This means that both of you are awake and both of you are in the soul connection together. Whatever you're trying to birth into reality, if it even could be your relationship. Both of you guys need to be free to create. Both of you guys need to focus also on other things and to be free and not focus only on that one thing. It's like the both of you are walking, you know, and think, oh my gosh, I need to meet my soulmate. I need to marry. I want to um, have a life with them. I want to build a life with my soulmate, but I haven't even met my soulmate. Oh my gosh, where's my soulmate? You know, it's this energy of 
being too focused on one thing. And that's when you miss out on all the other things. So it's like a need to zoom out. And that's why, you know, the universe is delaying this journey. Because you need to be free. You need to have fun. You need to concentrate also on other things and not only on this one thing. And that's for the both of you. This is a couple here. So you could be in a relationship where, you know, you're trying to create something together. It's important you guys be free. Yeah? Let's see what this card says. It says, Ostrich, the choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth you feel in your heart. Yeah, it's about being free and just following your heart and just doing whatever you want. You know, it's, um, you know, the ostrich comes from Australia. So Australia is very far away from a lot of us, you know. So doing things that are very far from what you would usually do. That's the answer here. Yeah, that's why the, the card of freedom is here. You guys need to fly free. You need to um, free your mindset of focus. And um, of course, people say, if you want to be successful in one thing, you need to focus. But guys, if you're too focused, you're missing out on all the fun. And then, you know, this creation, whatever you try to create, um, needs to be free to come into your life, okay? Oh, it's very beautiful. And that's what the situation tries to teach you, guys. Okay? So that's all what I'm having. I hope you like this reading. And I'm saying bye. Hello, beautiful yellow feather. Look how beautiful this fits into our decoration. So what is the situation, the current situation teaching you? So let's see. What is it that the universe wants to teach you? So we have number seven, pride. Wow. That looks beautiful. I hope you can see everything. We have safe and happy travel, protection from harm when journeying, and caution. Tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. Interesting. There are two sides to the story. <clears throat> So let's see what else. Let's look at the tarot. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. There is an ending here. There has to be an ending of a mindset. Yep, the hanged man. That's an ending of a mindset and a, an epiphany. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Cups. And um, the Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. There is a relationship here with an age gap and you, like the Queen of Cups, you know, whoever it is, it could be both of you, but I'm feeling more the feminine energy is too proud to offer their cup to this young page here. Okay, and that's why the state is in limbo. Um, there is a mindset here that needs to end because this journey here, safe and happy travel, it says, I think this person lives far away from you and you're just saying, oh no, you know, this is not for me because there is an age gap. There's a difference here in age, especially. And um, whoever's watching this, you know, um, you're very cautious. You're very cautious because you have experienced this before. So if you have met someone that is very young, you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, this is an illusion. I cannot start this um, journey, this um, love journey, because this person does not fit what I'm usually looking for. So there's a big difference here. And um, yeah, let's see. We have seven of wands. Exactly. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. So you're resisting this. You're resisting this because of pride. Okay. <clears throat> the miracle of prayer. Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Sandalphon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. One person is resisting. The other one is wanting this connection. One of them is praying for this connection to happen. The other one is resisting because not that they don't have feelings. It's because they are very cautious, 
and um, you know there's a difference in age here and we have a new beginnings <coughs> number seven this is a spiritual connection okay we have here a highly spiritual connection and what the universe is trying to teach you is to change your mindset I mean, it's good for you to stand up for yourself and to have a belief system, but you are too rigid in your belief system. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. If you are identifying as the Queen of Cups, I mean, you could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's about love. Yeah, you don't have to be this, these signs, um, these sun signs. It's just that you are offering your cup and you want to offer it to someone equal. Yeah. And the universe is constantly bringing you people into your life. That's that. I think this is a general thing. It says, what is the current situation trying to teach you? It's like you went on the market again. And again, you're meeting someone that's not fitting your standards. And I mean, we have an age gap here, but I'm seeing that don't, they are not fitting your standard. The Queen of Cups and this Page of Swords are not fitting together. You see different colors. Um, you know, and it's like the universe is constantly bringing you people in to your life in a love situation that are not what you expect, that are not what you want. That um, And that's why you're hanging there, so you're single for a long time because you don't want to change your mindset. It could be that you're also that you, um, the other way around, that you want the age difference, you want the age gap. And the universe is not bringing you anyone in because you have to change this too. Yeah, it could be the other way around. But there is here in love and a difference between you and your partner that either you want it or that either you don't want. Please apply it as it fits. And the universe is constantly bringing you these people in um, because our reading is what is the current situation trying to teach you you know, <clears throat> they want that you, it's good, you know, to challenge yourself and it's good to have beliefs and have confidence, but also choose your battles wisely. I mean, you cannot stand up against everyone. You know, you can, do you want to stay single all your life? You know what I mean? They want that you are a bit, little bit more flexible. That's what I'm reading out of this here. It's not that you should take every guy they bring you, but you should be a little bit more flexible. And maybe it's also about distance that you're saying, well, this person is living far away. I don't want this. So I'm not going into a relationship with them. And you're praying for the for the angels to bring, you know, to bring you the perfect person. It's like you have a catalog, you know, a tick list where you um, have a catalog, how your guy should be. And you're very cautious, you know. You don't want to um, journey with someone that you don't think is appropriate. And you're waiting, you know, you're really waiting for this new beginning. But the universe is like always bringing you these difference, you know, always bringing you a person in that's completely different than what you expected. And it's about for you, you know, because you're saying no. The universe knows exactly that you are saying no, I don't want this. You know, the Ten of Swords is a mindset. You're saying no because of a mindset. And the universe is saying, well, you need to be a little bit more flexible because we have your soulmate ready. And your soulmate may differ from the type that you usually date. And it's about your pride, guys. Yeah, because we have here the death phase. You're always saying no. Yeah, you're always saying no because you think this person doesn't suit your journey. But it's exactly these type of people that the universe want that you expand your your mind. Let's let's see what your feather reads. It says canary birds. Step forward now and sing your song. There is power in finding your voice. Wow. It's like, you know what I feel here? You sing your song and you're saying, well, I sing my song. And I want only birds that are fitting into my song and that understand my voice. That's right. Yes. I mean, for a good relationship to function, um, you know, there should not be only differences. But 
it's like you say, well, only canary, I'm only dating canary birds, you know? I only date people that understand my song and that sing the same song as me. And that's just not possible in this world. I'm feeling here that the universe wants to bring in your soulmate. And it's about speaking your truth, yes, but to a point where you're also flexible and open to what comes in your way. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling here that you have to change instead of this masculine energy, you have to change guys into this femininity, receiving, yeah, not only sending out and fighting back and saying, oh, I don't want this. No, I don't want this guy. I don't want this guy. I don't want this guy, but receive what the universe wants to give you. Okay. Very interesting here. Part four. Very interesting. I really love this. So that's what I'm having for you. And... I hope you like this reading and I'm saying goodbye.